Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Roxanne and this is my unboxing channel. I apologize right now if you can hear my son. He is home this afternoon and he's playing his game. Um, I asked him to, you know, but we all know how teenagers can be. So um, today I'm going to um, show you what I got in my Sephora and use it on my face. Um, I apologize now. <laughs> I'm, I'm not feeling 100% right now. Um, so if you <laughs> if you notice that I'm not you know as peppy as what I usually am, that's why um, I did sleep. <laughs> so I'm not sure exactly what's going on. Just that my stomach isn't like 100%. And yeah, um, I haven't eaten anything basically all day. I think I had like a muffin, and that is all I've <laughs> had. So um, I kind of wanted to get this video up and out. Um, this sorry, not this video, but I do have another video after this. I am gonna put out. Then I'm going to put up this one when, um, when I don't have anything, like any of my boxes. So by the time you see this, I should be feeling better. Fingers crossed. Okay. So I already did my face. You guys have seen me do it so many times. I thought, you know what? I'm not going to put you guys through that. So I am going to go through with what I used. Um, I've taken all the feedback that I've gotten on my other videos and I've tried to incorporate it this time. I also took my time in doing it so that... I have a good f base. So I'm gonna start off with, I use my Dior, um, oops, sorry guys, my Dior um, base primer, that's the word. Um, I use that all over my face with the Becca under eye. Okay, and then I use my Wonder Beauty and I use my sponge for both the concealer and the foundation and then I use the actually um, Pretty Vulgar so actually, almost all, some of the base items I did get in my beauty subscription boxes. I actually used the pencil this time on my eyebrows. Um, I'm not 100% sure like how to do the fine lines and to make my eyebrows look big and puffy. So I just kind of colored them in and then I, you know just kind of went like this and put my eyebrows where I want to. I personally like my eyebrows all natural so I mean I just like to ink them up a little bit but that is me and I hope you guys enjoy looking at my eyebrows that way. With that being said I did use the elf under eye uh, setting powder and I used actually my cosmetics it. Um, uh, this is the Bye Bye Pores. I really like this one. I've had it for a long time. This is one of the things I did pay full price. Um, early 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 on before I even started doing my videos and I used it I really like the way that my my face feels um, I find that it actually even helps with some of the oil control that I have I actually even did my hair which I don't normally do you either see it up or you see it down you don't see it in between um, so yeah I had it in a braid so it looked really curly right now except for some of the bad parts the back parts so kind of like that okay so that is the base so I'm going to open up this bad boy, bad girl, whatever you want to say. Um, this is not all makeup, with that being said. Let's see what I got, and let's hope I got what I ordered, because we all know Sephora makes mistakes. We had a really bad storm yesterday, so got her thunder again for some reason, and yeah. that down there okay so um i'm gonna start off with the tom ford extreme uh, mascara so i'll give that a try i got the drunk elephant camellia body cream cleanser and the seeky body lotion so i'll give those a try and i also got the regio um scalp revival i do like those two items um so i'm actually going to do don't order too much off of Sephora, but I saw this deal and I really couldn't pass it up. Some of you know, um, I take, like when I was pregnant, if you go back to my um, Instagram feed, you'll see that I have lots of um, pictures of my nails. And I really had a lot of fun with my nails. And I mean, they say that when you are pregnant, your hair and your nails look so amazing. And let me tell you, I have never had my nails look better than I did when I was pregnant and um, 
generally where I work I do wear gloves a lot and I find that I'm super clumsy so my nails are always always breaking and I have bought a hand lotion after hand lotion well I've received hand lotion after hand lotion um, I've tried different um, nail stuff and I really can't find anything that is helping with my nails and they're breaking. So I'm part of a nail group. Um, I have like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of julep nail polishes. Um, I don't talk about julep on here because um, they kind of did everyone wrong. We used to have a subscription with julep where uh, I could get their face stuff and um, nail polish. And I loved it. It was one of my favorites. But... Uh, the owner had to end up selling her company and whatnot and um, it just wasn't good and then the company made a couple faux pas and yeah so I have found love in the nails ink brand um, they have now replaced my absolute love for julep and so they had this um, this is super food repair oil next level nutrition by nails ink so as you can see, I did do my nails. I have their 45 second top coat and I absolutely love it. And it's right here. So I got a second one. Actually, my first one is like half empty. It's one of the first things that I've used and I bought full price that uh, I will likely use all of it. I have tried like Deborah Hardman or Deborah Lipman, sorry. And I've tried different companies and I still can't seem to find the perfect top coat this one comes pretty close to it but you do have to be careful like the other one has sparkles in it and you know it does bubble up once in a while um, it doesn't work all the time as you can see one of my nails is um, showing today but the nail is still strong and this actually nail polish right here is the um, hot to trot I believe from nails ink that I bought so I'm excited to try this I do have several nail cuticle oils and I fully believe in them um, so then I got this back to life repair recuperate and glow so I would be giving that a try as well as long wear plumped polish and this is the gel effects so this is Mayfair Lane and back to recovery so I'll give those three four things three things a try because I've already actually tried the other ones um, so I also got um, the clean makeup kit uh, it's I think $38 that was 24 I believe which is yeah there we go. Okay. I'm kind of disappointed in this because <laughs> I thought this was like a nice bag I could use after I can't but then now I realize that it was it would have been in plastic and that would defeat the purpose of having clean makeup in here Okay, so let's pull everything out here and I will go through it. So when I did my makeup, I didn't actually look to, I forgot to see what was in this. So I'll leave this up here. Okay, so I see Kozak, Kozak Sport Lip Fuel, Hydrolonic Lip Balm. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so it's in energizing wild mint. Mm, my favorite. Stimulates the senses, increasing mental agility and boasts motivation. I should take this to work, is what it's telling me. Uh, Konjac root creates a gel like um, protective network to form a barrier between lips and the environment. Ultra healing hydrolonic acid attracts water and locks in hydration while vitamin E soothes, repairs, and plumps. Okay, so. Let's take this baby out. Oh, that is super cute. So there it is there. Oh, it's tinted. Okay, so I'm not going to try that on right now. Let's go through the rest of this, and I will try that on after. Um, this is RMS Beauty. Travel size, Living Glow Face and Body Powder. Okay, so it doesn't actually say... So I'll try that. I'll give that a try anyway. So this is Ethier Beauty Rose Quartz Crystal Gem Stone. Okay, so this is an eyeshadow in Metallic Rose Quartz. So this is probably the only eyeshadow I have, so I'll probably pull out one of my palettes. And so there it is there. So I will put that on. Um, and then I got... 
Color Haze Multi-Use Pink Mint from Isla. This is a Loving Limp Tinted Lip Oil and Be Elegant. Ooh, look at that. Now, I, this company is really super expensive. So, um, this doesn't say it's full size, but I mean, it looks pretty full size to me. Um, okay, so then... This is, oh, this is a Lila B um, item. This is B Elegant. Um, this is Color Haze Matte Pigment in Before Today. So I'm guessing it's a lip balm. I'm just going to look that up on my phone here. Um, it seems like an awful lot of lip balm and no actual, like, beauty in this. So this is the Tarte Surfer Curl, so I will actually give this a try over the Tom Ford. Okay, so, um, so I'm just going to pull this up quickly. Letting my internet works. And we're 11 minutes into this, and I haven't even put on much makeup. Well, I mean, I put on my, my makeup. Okay, so let's go to... Oh, it's out of stock right now, so that's good to know. Um, okay, Color Haze Multi Matte Pigment in Before Today. So this is supposed to be a, a full-size Color Haze. So this is full-size. Um, let's see. See, so let's type in. So it just does 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 look like the lip mini duo. Well, with the oh, okay. So this is um, a lip oil, and then. Color Haze Multi-Use Pigment. Okay, so let's see what this is. Oh, la, 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 la. You would think I would have looked this up beforehand, but I really had no idea what was coming, and I kind of wanted to keep it that way. So I actually don't see it here. Glow, priming mini oil, skin prep, tinted lip balm. Okay, so B color haze. Kids. So is this like just a smaller version of that? It doesn't feel like it sh would be. Um so this is a multi-use pigment, how to use. Okay, double duties, blend out for cheeks, for a soft wash of color, lips. Okay, that's what I thought, okay. So I'm gonna use it on my cheeks. Um, I will use, I guess, this one on my lips and I will give the swatch of this one. I will use this and, okay. So we have everything that I need. Ooh, it's hot in here. I just did some cleaning because I needed to take it off the couch and I'm like, I really wish I didn't now. Okay, so this is a really gorgeous pink. So I think I'm going to... I wonder, do I have anything in here? I think I do. I actually think. We'll give this a try. This is the Morphe. Um, I think this is... Vintage Rose. Okay, so I'll put that down there. So let's get doing my eyes because we got so much more to do today. So I am going to... Why does it seem like the lights aren't bright in here today? Okay, so I am going to use, I think, this color right here. Can you guys see that color right there? Right here. So I'm just going to... Kind of use it as a highlighter underneath my eyes, and we'll just wash the whole eye in it. It's a nice, simple transition color. 
I was going to make this video quick and you know of course that did not happen because why would it right I talk way too much so I am going to use this color here so the palette is upside down so if you guys want I can do it this way so I gave my brushes all a wash okay so what I'm doing this like I've been doing this lately so you'll see I'm just kind of depositing all the um pigments here and then I'm going to diffuse them. kind of gives it a different look. So I was saying we had a storm on Sunday and I tell you it was scary. We got a tornado watch, tornado warning. I'm sorry guys he's like a minecraft person thing okay so you can kind of see it there it's very light which I don't mind at all I'm going to take my Sigma blending and I'm gonna add this nice kind of purple here and I'm just gonna put it right in here just to kind of give it a bit of a different color I don't want anything too bold this time because you got to take a break every once in a while from the boldness of it. These are really pretty. I have to do a full on that one. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that. Take my motor brush. So let's give this a go. Oh, wow. This is stunning. So I've never actually used some of these companies, so this will be the first time for some of them. But wow. Can you guys see that? This is so my color. Whoa. So I am going to grab some eyeliner just to kind of give it a bit of a pop. Okay, so I do have, I have liquid, which I'm not going to do liquid. So I've got a nice sparkly one here. I'm going to use some Physicians Formula, which I bought so long ago because I had no black eyeliner for the gel. And yeah, and I'm like, hey, let's not use it for six months. So maybe not six months. So, do you under the eye first, and then I'm probably going to add some of that pink down below just to kind of soften it a bit. I was just reading that if you have really dark bags, you shouldn't actually put uh, mascara on because it makes it look darker for me I think it brightens up my whole eye and makes my lashes underneath look thicker and fuller but that's just me so I know I'm gonna do something kind of new here don't often do this I'm not sure exactly why I've just never been an eyeliner person maybe because you need to <laughs> straighten steady hands Okay. I will cut that out.
is so warm back here. Alright, so... I also gave my eyelashes a bit of a curl. Not sure it made much of a difference, but. Oh. I love when I blink and I'm doing my eyelashes. Okay, so there is the starting of this look. Okay, so this is a body glow, and it's got this little lovely thing. And oh, there's the names of the. I really wish they wouldn't do that. Oops. Nope, there we go. Okay, so. Might be able to kind of use this as like, um. So here it is. So this is dark, so I'm wondering if I can just kind of not as a highlighter, but maybe as um a nice glowy contour. <laughs> My under here is like sweating so bad. Okay, so I'm actually just gonna put some more of this on here. This will likely kind of. It's a gorgeous. I don't know if you guys can see that, but. RMS Beauty, I think I was watching some of her videos one time. Okay, so I am gonna take. Whoops. Go to that. This color haze multi use pigment, and I am going to use it on my cheeks. Just so. It's a gorgeous color. Oh, it smells good. see that? I don't know. I do like it though. Like I love the smell of it and you know what? It's not, it's not, it's not like, um, So it's not like oily on my face like I thought it might be. Okay, so there's a bit more. So I guess you're supposed to use like this, right? Because it's supposed to... Okay. That is a gorgeous color. I think I just 
found my multi-use pigment right there. This works for me. So I'm going to try the lip oil in B Elegant. It is a brown color, color so it's totally not me. I'm going to add a bit of a lip liner to it. Um, let's see here. We're going to go with one of the Elf's Retro. I don't think these have colors on them, so... I know I'm mixing up some of the, uh... Like, the, the brand quite a bit. And I was going to try to do this as all clean, but I just don't have the patience. Not saying that I have the, I just don't have the patience to look at every company and figure out what I have that is clean and not. That's all I mean. Okay guys, I'm not much for brown lipsticks, but this one's not bad. It actually really kind of goes with the whole look I'm making. Um, sorry, my phone is kind of going off today, which is weird. So I am going to give this a swatch because this is like a red. Ooh, it's really pretty. So there's no highlighter in this, so I'm just gonna grab a highlighter. I think I put Kleenex this. Yep, I did. Okay, so. This pink eyeshadow is just gorgeous. I'm gonna have to stick it someplace where. So I am using the Afro one I just got. I believe this is Covent Garden. Okay, guys. I really, really, really enjoyed making this look. It's very simple, very elegant. Um, I actually am not mad at the things I got. Do do definitely like the this this i do like this this so that i mean and oh, of course this so did i get anything i really don't like like i'm not really going to use this powder i mean i might actually give it a shot on the body for you know whatever reasons maybe i'll you know put it up for uh sale i'm not a hundred percent sure yet <laughs> but i mean i think this is a really good kit it is sold out right now which kind of sucks because yeah I was going to say go and buy it right now. Um, but that is how Sephora favorites work sometimes. You win some, you lose some. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate each view. Stay tuned. I'll try this fancy Tom Ford item. As we all know, it's a super expensive brand. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to like, share, and make sure you're subscribed.